Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at this medium lead code problem number 967. Numbers with same consecutive differences. So you can read the problem statement yourself. These are the test cases. And here's how we are going to do this. And this is very important because this is a pattern that can be applied to many other different uh, problems. So we're going to start by building a digits map. So this map is going to store all of the compatible digits. So for example, in this test case, what are the compatible digits of the number 1? It's just 8, because 8 minus 1 is 7, which is what the problem requires. What are the compatible digits of the number 2? It's just the 9 digit. What are the compatible digits of 8? It's just the 1 digit. Okay, so how are we going to fill this map of digits? Well, we're going to go through all of the numbers from 0 to 9, which are the decimal digits. And then we are going to build a new set. And uh, if there's already a set in the array in the object, then we're not going to build a new one so that we don't override it. And you're going to see later down the line why this is necessary. So then we're going to say, okay, these are the candidate digits that might be compatible with my current digit that I'm working on right now. And for every candidate of my candidate digits, I'm going to say, okay, if it is greater than zero and less than 10, so if it's a valid digit, I'm going to essentially build a graph. This is essentially the classic creation of a undirected graph. So this would be the edge going from my candidate digit to the current digit, the ith digit. And then I need to also build the edge that traverses the graph in the reverse uh, direction. So I just add to my current uh, digit map the current candidate. Okay, so this is how we build the current uh, the map digits where we store for every digit the compatible digits. Now, we create a current array. This is the array that stores the current solution. And at the end of our computation, we're just going to return the array because it's going to be filled with all of the numbers that the problem is asking for. And how are we going to build this solution? Well, for each step, so remember that this is kind of like already the first step being done right here. So we need to do n minus one steps instead of uh, just n. So for every step, we're going to create a new list, which is going to keep track of the new solution. And at the end of the loop, we're going to assign this new list to the old list, the current list. Okay, so this is a very important pattern. You're going to see this over and over in various problems. And now we just need to essentially compute what values should go in this new list. So to do that, we're going to examine each and every old element of the list and we're going to say okay what is the last digit of the element of the current list and we get that by doing this so now that we have the last digit we can just go in our map and find which next digits should be applied and these are the digits we just perform a lookup in our map that we built previously and we say okay for each one of those we push in our new list the old string plus so we concatenate the new compatible digit that we've looked up in our map of digits and so now there is only a trivial edge case left which is if n is equal to 1 then we need to return 0 as well so we just push it into the list because the ordering is not important and so we don't have to do unshift on the array we don't have to insert it in the first position we can actually insert it in the last positions which saves a little bit of complexity and as you can see this code is accepted thank you and bye